Hello everybody and welcome back to the end product of our JavaScript beginner series. When starting this series, we told you guys that we would be coding a real life project with the help of the things that we learned throughout the series. And today is the day for that. Today we are diving into something super exciting. We are building a task manager app or a to-do list app with the help of JavaScript. And imagine having a simple app where you can add tasks, delete them when we are done, and even fetch tasks from an external source all using JavaScript. So that is pretty cool in my opinion. And by the end of this video, we will have a web app or a web page, which is something similar to this. So in this task manager app, we can add tasks, suppose teach our viewers how to make this. Hit enter and add this to our list of tasks. And when we are done with the task, we can click this delete button right here to remove this task from our list. And we can add multiple tasks as much as we want, remove all of them, and even fetch tasks from an API. So like this. Now without wasting any time, let's start with coding this. We have opened our coding compiler and this is the web dev section of the compiler. And this provided here is our default boilerplate code for this video or this project. And it consists of a simple input field where we can enter our tasks and it consists of a button which adds our tasks to the task list and also another button which fetches API tasks from an API and an unordered list for holding our list items. So. This is the HTML code and we have created a simple CSS file to style our heading, our input field, our add task button and our fetch API task button. So since we have our main focus on JavaScript, we will not be focusing on these. These files will be provided to you guys in the description and let's get to our JavaScript code. So first things first, in order to make this website interactable, we have to select each individual element that we want to interact with. So for that, I'm going to select our input field, our add task button, our fetch API tasks, and our task list, which is in the HTML. So for that, I'm going to create four variables to select our necessary elements. So const task input for our input field, const add task button, as the name suggests for our task button, or add task button, and a selector for or a variable for selecting our task list itself and finally a variable for selecting our fetch task button so fetch task button so I'm going to select each of these elements which I have mentioned by using a selector called document dot get element by ID which we have discussed in our previous lessons so if you don't know about that please do check it out so task input equals document dot get element by id so i'm just going to write down this for each of the variable that we have defined so control c control v control v control v and i'm going to check out what ids do these element have so for our input field we have given it an id of task input for our add task button add task our task list our task list ID and for this button right here we have given an ID fetch task so I'm going to write these IDs in our selectors so task input and then our add task our task list and our fetch tasks so fetch tasks now once we are done selecting our necessary elements we can head over to making them interactive now in order to do that we will have to create a function which takes the task that we enter in this input field and on the click of this button it will add that task onto our task list and for that it should create a new list element by fetching the value that is entered into this input field so we have to create a function which will create a list element first and then append that element to our unordered list so I want you guys to pause the video and try it out for yourself 
and if you have any difficulties you can always check it out right here so let's get on to it first we'll create a function by using the function keyword and let's name this function a task so let's say we have to store whatever the user or we ourselves enter inside this place into a variable let's create a variable for that for storing our input so const task text let's say equals now we have already selected this input field right here from our dom so this field is called task input so I'll say task input and for fetching its value we'll write dot value and we have to create an element first so const li equals document we create an element through the create element method so document dot create element and our element is a list item so we'll give it a tag of li so this is our list item right here now we want to add content to the newly created list element and we want that content to be the task that the user enters here so we will change its inner HTML by using li dot inner HTML equals we'll create a set of backticks to use our task test variable dynamically by writing a dollar sign then task text and let's say we have uh, to create a button which deletes the task as well so I'll create a button class equals delete let's say I'll give it a class of delete and then I'll say delete or you can add an emoji of a delete X or cross button right here uh, for now I'll add delete and then button so this will be the content of our newly created list item and after creation of the list item we have to add that list item to our task list so our parent element is the unordered list which we have selected in the variable called task list so task list dot append child and the child we want to append is our li variable right here which we have created so after adding our task to our task list we want to clear the input field for the user to enter another task if the user wants to do so so for that we'll do task input dot value equals an empty string which means clearing the input field so this is it for our add task function and I have noticed that this C should be capital right here and this function is now complete now we want to make it so that whenever a user clicks on this add task button this add task function executes and we will achieve that through the use of event listeners so we have discussed that in our JavaScript beginner series and we do that by setting or attaching an event listener to this add task button so we have selected this button in this this variable right here so add task button dot add event listener and let's see we should execute this function on click and then the function to be executed is add task so by doing this we have attached an event listener to this button right here which when clicked adds our task from the input field onto our task list so let's see what happens if we enter um, let's say take out the trash and click on this button so we can see that this take out the trash which is our task has been added onto our task list so our function and our event listener is working perfectly now if we want to delete this task right here we would naturally click on the delete button but we can see that clicking on it does nothing so this is because we have not created a function that deletes the task and we have not attached it to the delete button and in order to make the delete button functional we'll have to do just that so this will help us delete the task that we have already completed and we'll now head on to creating a function which deletes the task so let's say delete task 
and this function will take a parameter which is e and you can assume this as the event object which we had discussed previously it contains all the details regarding the event that is triggered and we will open the function right here and we will create a condition which reads if event dot target dot class list dot contains a delete class which we had added to our buttons or our delete buttons when we created this right here so this class delete if it contains the delete class it will remove its parent element so event dot target dot parent element dot remove so the reason I typed parent element dot remove when we create the delete button it is a child element of our list element so first we create the list element right here and then we have created a button element inside the list element so since we want to delete the whole list item itself from our task list we remove the parent so when the delete button is clicked it will remove its parent element that is the newly created list item so inside this delete task function this first line essentially asks if we have clicked on something that has the class delete so class list dot contains delete asks if we have clicked on something that has the class delete and if the condition is true it removes its parent element so now that we have created the function let's see this in action now in order to see this in action we have to attach this function to our task list or our unordered list so to do that we will have to uh, use the task list dot add event listener on click and then delete task so delete us our function now let's see if this works so I'll use wash the dishes as our example and hit add task we, the add task uh, function is working fine now let's see if we can delete this task and as you can see the task that had been added has been successfully deleted from our task list so we have already created a basic version of our to-do list app where we can add tasks and delete tasks after they are done so we have already created a basic version of our to-do list app where we can add tasks to our task list and after they are done we can delete them right away with one click on the delete button so we can take this app to another level by fetching tasks from an external api now this is not entirely necessary but in order to use and demonstrate the fetching mechanism in javascript and in order to incorporate that into our to-do list app we will be doing just that so we will create an asynchronous function function which is fetch tasks that will fetch tasks from an api so try const response equals await since we have to await the response then fetch and then our API so fetch this and then in another variable that is const data we will await a response and then convert it into a JavaScript object so con response.json and after that we'll be using something called a for each loop so since we have stored our response.json which returns an array uh, in other variable called data we'll use a for each loop to loop through each item in the array so data dot for each let's open our parentheses and create a variable called task now each item that is present in the array is stored in this task variable so for each item in the array we want to execute a certain code in this case for every task in the data array we want to create a new list element and add that list element to our list or unordered list which is our task list so for that we will have to uh, create a list variable like we did in our previous function that is add task and then use document 
dot create element and our element that we want to create is a list element so this and in a similar way as we did before we want to change its inner HTML and use our backticks to use the value of task dot title so which stores the title or which uses the title of each task item that is present in the array that we receive from the API so task dot title and then we create a button for deleting the task so button and let's say its class is delete so delete and then it says delete and then we'll close our button so we have changed its inner HTML and now we will append this item our list item by using append child to our unordered list which is our task list so this and after writing the code for our try block we have to write a catch block for any errors that might occur so catch error and let's say console dot error um, and error occurred while fetching tasks and then um, let's say we add our error message onto here so plus error so we did make a function for a fetching task from an API and adding them to our task list now let's attach that function to our fetch API task button now we'll use a fetch task button fetch task button and use dot add event listener let's say we have to trigger that event on click and then we have to trigger this function so fetch task and let's not forget to close our function right here uh, we'll close this and then we'll see if our code works as intended so let's say um, finish the project video and add task so it has been added to our task list and then delete so it is being deleted as well and let's see if our newly created fetch api task or fetch task function works so let's click on this and we can observe that our fetch api task button is working fine which means that our fetch task function is working fine as well and let's see if we can delete the task that we just fetched from an api and delete 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 so we can see that our delete task function that we created previously is working well on this fetch api task button as well so delete 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 so in this video we built a simple yet functional task manager app by using javascript and let's quickly recap what we did we created a function and added it to our button so that we could add tasks to the list we can delete tasks from the list and we can fetch api tasks from an external api and display them on our screen so if you found this project video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more beginner friendly javascript projects so let me know in the comments how your task manager app turned out and we'll catch you in the next video thank you